Networks. I am Jeet Khan and in this tutorial we are going to see what is ECS. So ECS basically is uh, uh, AWS own service for container management so it is similar to Kubernetes. So uh, what you can do is you can create your containers, you can create your own images and uh, push it to AWS and AWS will take care of uh, running it as a container in its own infrastructure so basically uh, what you have to do is simply make an image make a docker file create build an image out of it push it to AWS and uh, then create some configuration setting uh, create some repository and uh, a cluster and that will run your container and uh, there you can manage the auto scaling part as well so AWS give this feature to manage the uh, to manage your container and keep it running. So in this specific tutorial, we we'll, we will see uh, we will build an image, we will push it to AWS, and we will create a cluster and we'll tell the cluster to uh, create one container and keep it running. So let's go ahead. So here, this is my application. I have written a Docker file. So uh, I'm not going to explain uh, how I have written Docker file, how you can write it. Uh, you can find my other tutorials as well about Docker, uh, how to write a Docker file, how to containerize your application. So uh, in previous tutorial, I have given, I have shown some examples like Dockerizing Rails app. So uh, you can learn it from there. Uh, so for now we will uh, keep our tutorial keep this video up to creating uh, the build and pushing it to AWS and using ECS so uh, AWS provide a service called EC2 container service ECS which have three things repository task definition clusters so uh, First, you need, you need to create a repository on which your image will stay. So, uh, as of now, I have already created a repository, but I'll tell you how to create one. So, click on create repository, give it a name, say Docker ECS, and click on next step. And uh, the repository is being created. Now, you need to push your image to it. So AWS provides some set of commands to log into ACS and then uh, build your image and then tag it and then push it to push it to your repository. So you can run this command one by one. So this will give you a command to log into ACS. login succeeded now go ahead and uh, you can build your image uh, it has been successfully built since I have already built it so it's finished up quite quickly now you can tag it and uh, the repository URL would be this and then you can uh, push it to the repository so it will start pushing but I'm cancelling it out because as I have already pushed since this process takes a, a bit of time so I'm not covering this here but I have, since I have already uh, pushed it so when you click on done So this repository has been created but if you go inside it there won't be anything since we have not pushed it yet. So uh, let's delete this one for now and let's use the already created one. So this is the repository URL we will be using later. The next thing is after repository creation we will create a cluster. let's give it a name ECS cluster and uh, we will be using t2.micro as of now and we will be saying only run one instances 
and uh, storage is 22 key pair is you can give it like anything which you have so mine is sample so key pair name i have given is sample now you can choose in which vpc this should run so i have already created a vpc then subnet then security group so uh, i assume that you should already have all these three things if not you can create one then this is the default setting and let's go ahead and create it so this creating all the three things one by one the acs cluster dashing our ml policy and uh, doing cloud formation stack so the plus details of cluster source you can see here it also provides the auto scaling but as of now i won't be covering auto scaling part we are going to simply launch our container and see if our service if our application works or not so all these three tasks has been completed now let's go ahead and create some task so uh, basically task definition specify container information for our application such as how many uh, containers should be a part of task how, may, how much resource they will take so uh, let's go ahead and create one uh, one I have already created so uh, let's go ahead and create one so let's give it a name ECS task ECS cluster task uh, all these things all the settings you can leave default let's go ahead and add a container so uh, you can give it the name ECS cluster container or you can name it like anything you want to here you need to in the image part you need to specify the repository URL so since I have already copied uh, when we were there so this is okay. and uh, you need to provide some hard limit this is going to be in MB so uh, I'm giving 300 or uh, you can try to change it as per your application requirement port mapping so host port is uh, the port of your instance which would be open to public uh, so I'll be opening the port 80 and the container since my application is in python and I am opening the port 8000 for my application so my container will have 8000 port open and it will listen on it so uh, when when the instance will be created and uh, when i'll take the ip i'll hit on the port 80 and it will transfer the request to the container on 8000 port so this may change as per your application suppose if you are running a rails application and internally your container is listening on 3000 port then you can put 3000 over here CPU unit will be given 10. You can give it as per your requirement. You can also hover this information bar, uh, information icon, and you can uh, read the details. So, for now, uh, I'll be leaving all these details uh, blank for now. But you can look at it, you can uh, look at the information and uh, uh, put the details as per your requirement. So, let's go ahead and edit. And create the task task has been created now we need to create service so basically task is having all the information regarding the container now we will create a service so here is our cluster uh, in the dashboard as you can see uh, we don't have any service right now we are not having any running or pending task uh, but we have created a container instance so let's go ahead and create a service so you yeah, select the task definition so we have just created ECS cluster task 1 then our cluster then uh, let's give it name ECS cluster service number of tasks so basically number of tasks is how many containers you want so one task comprises of uh, one container 
so everything we provided uh, with the details we provided was of one container and here in service we will specify how many tasks uh, we want to run so uh, keep it a uh, one as of now minimum healthy percent uh, leave all the settings default and let's go ahead and create the service so uh, our service is running now now let's go ahead and see our cluster cluster is active okay so in the task we have one pending task since it, it must be creating an ec2 instance let's see so we ha do have one running instance which is getting which got created t2 dot micro so it is running so hopefully we should have a running container inside this instance let's go ahead and take the public ip and hit the url as i said we will be hitting this url on port 80 that is the default tcp and uh, let's see if it works or not Okay, our container is working although this is giving a 404 but still our container is uh, working so oops i didn't remember the url uh, but this is the container is working fine the django application is working fine so here is our cluster and in the cluster we have one service running we have one running task we can monitor the cpu utilization here the memory utilization and as we said one container instance is running so this is about the ecs you can go and try it out uh, one more thing i want to uh, tell you guys is that say uh, if you have this instance running and uh, let's go ahead and try to ssh in this something i want to say is uh, this is running the container as you can see it is running the container and uh, the ECS runs a docker agent on this instance by default so if you uh, if you just stop this container or kill this container uh, through by sitting into this instance and running docker stop command uh, so this will terminate this will kill this container but here in the dashboard it will keep showing one container service up and running because docker is in right now is not that smart enough to uh, keep track of this thing so don't ever do it uh, going to manually from here you can always tweak this setting from uh, in task definition in cluster and so on so this is all about ECS thanks for watching